And I'm also going to try and get you to build something. Like a lot of us spend a lot of time coding and not actually making things. And so like the aim is that you're going to make something physical, um, which is kind of fun. But then, um, then we're going to, when you've made these, these droids, drones, whatever they are, um, you're going to have a little bit of a race. There's a little bit of a treasure hunt over here that you're going to, uh, going to use. But that's actually going to be over. There's a secret agenda here, which is that like, it's my WebRTC stack that you're testing. Like, you'll be driving it using my WebRTC stack to see where you're going and to scan these QR codes. So you get to stress test my, QR, my, my WebRTC stack, which is great, and, and the Wi-Fi as well. So, um, and also, hopefully, and this is the main goal, is that everybody has some fun. Um, so the format is, I'm going to chant it like this for 10 minutes and hopefully tell you what you need to know. I think it might take you up to an hour to actually build the droid, the droid get them working. Maybe less. It, there's no hurry. Um, and then we've got an hour in the room to play around and chase these QR codes and hopefully win. The monitor there on that screen shows who has won. So the person who manages to connect to it will display on that screen by Dr. Alex. Um, so you split into groups. We've done that bit. You need one laptop with Chrome per group. Um, and you should have, well, actually, it doesn't matter. I was going to say you need different character types, but you've already split up, so it's whatever. Uh, there's a kit of stuff. Um, you should all have that, with the exception that you don't all get pandas. Each of you has a different spirit animal. Um, and, uh, and actually, that's really important, because that's used as the token to exchange to control it. Um, yeah, right, most important thing, plug in the power packs, unpack them and charge them up now if you can. Like I have a charger or so, you can plug them into your laptops. They should come pre-charged, but I don't totally believe that. Um, so uh, the software we're going to run today is Raspberry and OS on uh, Pi Zero. Um, there's some ugly PHP code that, or is it Python? I forget. That controls the motors. Um, GStreamer is running H.264 capture um, to uh, from the cameras, and I should tell you that the camera image that you'll get is toned down. I down downgraded it by a factor of ten so that we wouldn't kill the Wi-Fi. Right. So don't judge the quality by this. The camera is capable of doing a lot better than you're going to get this afternoon but I didn't believe the Wi-Fi would stand up to it, so I toned it down. Um, we're running the WebRTC toolkit from Pipe on the Pi, um, and Pipe also does the pairing between, they basically sets up the control channel, the authentication now. Your Chrome laptops lets you see the H.264, control the drone, droid, and it also in the browser we have, bless them, a QR code decoder written in JavaScript in the browser. And that's what you will be using to win your prize, which is um, somewhere over there. There's a, um, a decked phone, which is the prize. I, it's just a little token of, um, of having won, somebody winning. Um, so just a little bit about Pipe. It's a lightweight WebRTC stack running on small Linuxes. It's specifically designed to run on the small Linux environment. So the Pi Zero is, I think, 600 megahertz, half a gig of RAM, something like that. Um, sports today's channel, audio and opus, video in H.264. And it also does decentralized auth and pairing. So there's no central service here. We're, like, we're, not, we're not routing all of this through a cloud instance. Um, so the competition is to gather up eight different QR codes, um, and you'll they will display on your screen as you gather them up. Um, I'll show you how that works a bit later. Um, but the deal is you have to stay sitting down, right? You have to stay sitting down and you have to drive your drones from your laptop, watching the laptop. We, want, we don't want any cheating of rushing over here and picking it up. That's not how it works. Um, so, so basically, everyone has to stay sitting down and. And Dr. Lucy Rogers will be extremely fierce on this matter, and you will stay exactly where you are. Um, no, but seriously, um, 
that's the game that you're going to be driving these things semi-remotely. I did think about spreading them out around the conference center, but then I thought people will just tread on them. So, um, yeah, and in theory, if I get this together, there will also be another view from that drone up onto the big screen so you can see what's happening in this space without having to leave your seats. Um, I haven't done that yet. Hopefully it'll work, but we'll see what happens. Um, winning post machine, the first browser to send the correct hash code and nonce to that device will be able to pair with it. If that's successful, and it, you'd have to have collected them from the eight QRs, once uh, you paired, your browser will send the image of your spirit animal to that screen, and your spirit animal and only your spirit animal will appear on that screen, and you will be the winner. Um, building notes, there's really no hurry. Like, really, there is absolutely no hurry. We've got tons of time, and some of the components are quite small and fiddly, particularly the camera. So just take your time, no hurry. Um, and also the nylon bolts on this floor will be almost invisible. So like, do your best not to drop them. You'll find them eventually, but it will take you a while. So like little white nylon bolts on this floor, going to be fun. Um, I sh wanted to introduce you. Is your mic working? I think I'm working. Am I working? Yeah, I'm working. So uh, Dr. Lucy Rogers is helping us, and she's going to speak a little bit about herself. Hello, I'm Lucy. I am a mechanical engineer by training, and uh, I play with pies and el electronics for fun, and actually also for my work. So I fix people's problems. I had a theme park phone me up and say, come and hack our robot dinosaurs because the electronics had gone wrong. So I pulled all the electronics out, put Raspberry Pis in, trained the staff how to program the Pis, and now they're on the Isle of Wight, there are a load of animatronic dinosaurs with Pis controlling them. So that's the sort of project that I get involved with. So I'm very happy with a Pi and putting things onto it. So if you've got any problems like that, give me a shout. Because of all these sort of things that I've been doing, I was asked to be a judge on the BBC Robot Wars prog programme, and so I'm quite judgmental and good at shouting at people. So if you break rules that we may not have made up yet, I will tell you. Thank you. So the, the, the other um, construction note is that the, the STS Pi kit was actually designed for the full size Raspberry Pi, not for the Pi Zero. So it kind of loosely fits rather than perfectly. Um, so if, if it looks like it doesn't fit together, that's why. It is actually possible. Um, huge thanks to Pimeroni who, who gave us a, a, a bunch of these things for free and discounted some of the others. And they were really, really supportive of the whole game. If you get into building stuff with Raspberry Pis, they are brilliant. Uh, they've been super supportive and they're, and they're good guys. Um, yeah, so here's one, this is what it should look like, um, except that you don't get a panda. I have the panda, everybody else has different animals. Um, yeah, so start building. When, let me know when you're done, and I will pair your drone droid with your laptop. Um, if you, there's a, that URL at the bottom is actually a YouTube video of somebody else building one of these, which if you get stuck and you can't get hold of Lucy or myself, that's the kind of last resort of watch this video and see how they did it. Um, I'll, leave that, uh, I'll leave that on on the screen so you, we've got it there. Right, start building and give me a shout when we get stuck. Okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna struggle with the broken. I'll see if I can find another one.